Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey begins by showing Harley Quinn who tells her life story through animated images, where she was formerly named Harleen Quinzel. The young Harleen is abandoned by her father who is an alcoholic. However, as an adult, she successfully completed her education and earned a PhD as a psychiatrist. Harleen then served as a psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum where she met Joker. Joker gradually seduced Harleen and got her to fall madly in love with him. He later persuaded her to release him, subjecting her to shock therapy in retaliation for using it on him, manipulating her into jumping into a vat of the same chemicals that disfigured him to prove her love for him. The chemicals bleach her skin, dye her hair just as they did Joker's, and drive her as insane as he is. Harley Quinn and Joker committed numerous crimes until, in the end, he kicked her out because he was tired of her. Her love affair with Joker, which just ran aground, had made her feel very frustrated. However, she decided to move on from him and move on with her life. She now lives in a cramped apartment in Gotham City, along with a male hyena named Bruce who he keeps as a pet. One night, Harley Quinn goes to a nightclub called Black Mask, where she is free to do whatever she wants including breaking a thug's leg because he had taunted her. Not long after, the nightclub owner, a man named Roman Cianus, arrived there and was very angry with what she had done because it turned out that the thug was his personal driver. However, Roman can't do anything to get rid of Harley Quinn, thinking she is still dating Joker. He just doesn't want to get into trouble with Joker. Because of that, he chose to let her act as she pleased. After that, Harley Quinn meets a woman named Dinah Lance, who saves her in front of a nightclub when a group of men tries to kidnap her. Seeing Dinah's fighting skills, Roman was interested in recruiting her to be his henchman, and she agreed to work for him. On the other hand, a female police detective named Renee Montoya, who is currently investigating Roman and his gang, then goes to Dinah and asks her to cooperate with the police. However, she rejects the offer since she is upset with the GCPD for not being there to prevent her mother's death. The next day, knowing that the end of her relationship with the Joker would be known by many people, sooner or later, Harley Quinn decided to blow up the Ace Chemicals plant as a way to publicly announce her breakup with him. At the same time, Montoya was seen investigating a murder case at a restaurant not far from the Ace Chemicals plant. At the crime scene, she investigates a series of mob killings by a crossbow-wielding vigilante, none other than the Huntress. Not long after, Montoya heard a huge explosion from the Ace Chemicals plant and rushed over there. Montoya found a necklace belonging to Harley Quinn at the crime scene and concluded that she had ended her love affair with Joker. Whatever she did after this no longer had anything to do with him. Or, in other words, she now acting alone. The news of Harley Quinn's breakup with Joker quickly spread among the Gotham City Mafia, and not a few of them welcomed the news with great joy. The scene then switches and shows Roman and his sadistic right-hand man, Victor Zass, trying to torture the people who upset them. Roman is known as a cruel and brutal crime lord because he likes to skin the faces of his victims, so he is nicknamed the Black Mask. Meanwhile, Harley, who was about to enjoy her breakfast, was confronted by Montoya who wanted to arrest her for the explosion at the factory last night. While escaping from Montoya, Harley accidentally meets the thug whose leg she broke earlier, making him try to kill her. At the same time, Montoya caught up with him and pointed a gun at him. Harley Quinn didn't just give up. She picked up a bag filled with trash nearby and threw it at Montoya and the thug. Because his view was blocked, the thug shot missed and hit another man in the car instead and was about to hit Harley Quinn. Ultimately, she managed to escape Montoya and the thug who intended to kill her. After avoiding Montoya's pursuit, Harley Quinn accidentally meets a thug with a big stature who wants to take revenge on her. Not long after, the Huntress arrived there and saved her. But then, Harley Quinn was confronted by a group of thugs who wanted to arrest her on orders from Roman. Meanwhile, at the Gotham City Police Station, Montoya meets her superior, Patrick Erickson, who plans to imprison Roman for all the crimes the man has committed. With the help of a female district attorney named Ellen, who has ambitions to arrest him, Montoya feels confident that she can catch Roman and his gang. However, Patrick doesn't seem to agree with the plan because Montoya doesn't have strong enough evidence to put Roman in prison. Montoya then told her leader about a diamond embedded with the account numbers to the fortune of the Bertinelli crime family who were massacred years ago. Knowing that Roman has been eyeing the diamond for a long time, Montoya intends to use the diamond to trap him. Not long after, she gets a call from Dinah telling her that the Bertinelli diamond is currently being held by a girl named Cassandra Kane, who steals the diamond from Victor and swallows it after she is arrested. Dinah is forced to turn to Montoya for help because she doesn't want Roman and his men to hurt Cassandra, her neighbor and has no idea how much danger lurks in her. At the same time, Harley Quinn arrives at the police station on a mission to reclaim the diamond from Cassandra on orders from Roman, who threatens to skin her face if she doesn't manage to get the diamond. After successfully getting rid of the guards, Harley Quinn heads to the detention room, 
where many criminals want to take revenge on her for what Joker did to them in the past. When she was trying to free Cassandra, who was locked in a detention cell, suddenly the door of another prison cell opened automatically. Hence, the criminals who were locked there immediately rushed out and attacked her. Although alone, Harley Quinn defeated the criminals and ran outside to find Cassandra, who had fled. On the other hand, Cassandra, who was trying to find a way out of there, was suddenly confronted by assassins who wanted to arrest her on orders from Roman. He had spread her profile to all criminals in Gotham City, offered a reward of money to whoever caught her alive and brought her in front of him. However, Harley Quinn did not necessarily let Cassandra be taken away and face the assassins until, in the end, she managed to defeat them all. However, when Harley Quinn was about to run away, Montoya arrived there and immediately pointed a gun at her. With a little trick, she manages to incapacitate Montoya, knocking her unconscious and then leaves with Cassandra. After being quite far from the reach of the police and the criminals who are after them, Harley Quinn then asks Cassandra about the whereabouts of the Bertinelli diamond that Roman wants. She reluctantly tells Harley Quinn that she had to swallow the diamond so the police don't confiscate it. Hearing this, she took Cassandra to the supermarket, where she stole some laxatives and food supplies for the two of them. After that, Harley Quinn took Cassandra to her apartment on the top floor of a restaurant, introducing Cassandra to the man who owned the diner named Doc. During their stay together, she developed a good relationship with Cassandra, and they always spent time watching entertainment programs on television while enjoying sweet snacks. Not long after, Doc was approached by a woman, none other than the Huntress, who wanted to find information about Harley Quinn. The scene then switches to the past of the Huntress who turns out to be Helena Bertinelli, the daughter of the Bertinelli family who was massacred by a criminal syndicate under the leadership of a man named Stefano Galante. One of Galante's henchmen, a man named Comer, discovers that Helena is still alive and then hides the fact from his boss. He then takes her to his home, where he raises Helena and trains her to become a professional assassin. After growing up, she returns to Gotham City and has been targeting each of the gangsters responsible for her family's murders, preferring the moniker The Huntress. Back to the present, Helena intends to continue her revenge on Victor's ass who was involved in the massacre of his family. In another place, Roman heard that Harley Quinn had run away and taken Cassandra away with her. Hearing this, he suddenly felt angry and took out his anger on one of the female visitors at his club. Meanwhile, Montoya, who stole evidence in the form of a cell phone belonging to one of the thugs involved in the attack at the police station, was caught by her leader because Ellen had actually complained about the theft. As a result, she gets suspended and is asked to hand over her gun and badge. That night, Harley Quinn is surprised by the appearance of a man who throws a bomb and blows up her apartment. Luckily, she and Cassandra managed to survive the explosion. She then met Doc, who turned out to be packing his things into the car and prepared to leave from there. Doc tells Harley Quinn that he was forced to sell the place to a group of people who wanted to kill her because they threatened to kill him. She looks devastated to hear his confession. She had no idea that someone she had thought of as her friend betrayed her and left her. Knowing that she can't win against Roman and his men, Harley Quinn contacts him to make a deal. She offers to turn Cassandra over in exchange for her protection, agreeing to meet at an abandoned amusement park, which he accepts. Dinah, who knew about the deal, then contacted Montoya so that she could arrest Victor who was assigned by Roman to pick up Cassandra. However, Victor knew about Dinah's actions and immediately told Roman that she had betrayed him. Upon hearing that, Roman became very angry and decided to become the Black Mask by wearing his mask and calling all his men. Meanwhile, Harley Quinn, who had arrived at the abandoned amusement park, locked Cassandra in a room. Not long after, she was surprised by the appearance of Montoya, who immediately attacked her. They fought fiercely before Harley Quinn managed to throw Montoya out the window. Shortly afterward, Victor and Dinah finally arrived, where he attacked Harley Quinn and incapacitated her, while Dinah immediately rushed to save Cassandra. However, Victor, knowing Dinah's betrayal, then pointed a gun at her, intending to kill her. But before he could do so, the Huntress had arrived, instantly killing him with her crossbow. At the same time, Montoya finally arrived there after climbing the window, and Harley Quinn recovered. When they were about to fight each other, Cassandra told them that Roman and his men had arrived. Knowing that the situation had now changed, Harley Quinn suggested they work together, and they agreed. They help each other against Roman and his fully armed men. However, they were cornered because they were outnumbered and because Montoya received a fairly severe gunshot wound. Roman took the opportunity to kidnap Cassandra and rushed her away from there. Knowing this, Dinah unleashes her metahuman ability of supersonic level screaming, defeating several of his mobsters and opening the way for Harley Quinn to pursue him with her roller skates. But then, one of Roman's men accidentally bumps into Harley Quinn, knocking her out pretty hard. Not long after, the Huntress arrived and helped her return to chasing Roman. 
Harley Quinn manages to reach Roman's car and kills his henchman, who was driving the car, until the car crashes. Roman then takes Cassandra to escape to a nearby dock. However, when he is about to kill her, she pulls the ring from a grenade she slipped in his jacket after taking it from Harley's weapons chest earlier. Harley Quinn throws him off the pier just before the grenade detonates, killing him. Not long after, Montoya, the Huntress, and Dinah finally arrive, relieved that Roman has been defeated. The next day, Harley Quinn and the others were seen enjoying breakfast at a restaurant. Cassandra, who ate so voraciously, suddenly felt sick and rushed to the toilet. Harley Quinn tells Montoya and the others that she will check on her condition. But apparently, Harley Quinn runs away with Cassandra and the diamond. Sometime later, Montoya quits the Gotham City Police Department. Using the money within the accounts hidden inside the diamond which had been recovered from Cassandra, Helena or the Huntress, joins with Dinah and Montoya in establishing a team of vigilantes called the Birds of Prey. On the other hand, Harley Quinn and Cassandra sell the diamond to a pawn shop and start their own business. The moral that can be learned from this movie is, many individuals have like uncut diamonds, which were shining qualities beneath a rough exterior.